Well, we are getting a look at how people from Rockland County are helping Ukrainians firsthand. News 12's Diane Caruso has that story from West Nyack. Ukraine, and you can see right over here. A look at the Poland-Ukraine border. Uh, the eyes of the Jewish Federation and Foundation of Rockland. It's hard to picture and imagine what these people are going through until you speak to them until you hear from them, until you see the anguish on their face. CEO Ari Rosenblum and past president Lisa Green just came back from their two-day trip overseas. This man... Rosenblum yeah, showing me the images snapped the along the way, telling me stories he heard from people who escaped war-torn cities. We spoke to refugees who escaped under shelling, who had to crawl out of their cars in the middle of a field because the Russians were, were lobbing artillery shells. Uh, at the road that they were on. They also saw how their donated money is being used to help a dozen organizations there on the ground. He says the Federation as a whole has given about $43 million, with 80000 coming from 350 Rockland donors. Grateful to be part of that support. Really grateful to be able to facilitate it. It was a big relief. It is there and, it, and people get in help. A few weeks ago, we introduced you to Oksana Hauser when she mobilized a countywide effort to collect supplies for her home country, Ukraine. Well, everything has arrived. These items are helping this baby from Kremenchuk. There is nothing we can do to replace what people lost. But, you know, what we can do, we can help him to move forward. For Rocklanders who helped Hauser to fill dozens of pallets with items. And I thank you. I can't be thankful enough. Because she has even more items on the way now. In West Nyack, Diane Crusoe, News 12. Now, for those who would like to continue to help their efforts, we have a link for you up on our website, news12.com. You can also scan the QR code that's at the bottom of your screen.